In this ridiculous tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can put your head on somebody else's body. So we have a picture of Ryan Gosling as he plays the part of Ken in the Barbie movie. And here I've got a picture of myself when I had a photo shoot. So let's take one of the image and put them on top of the other image. So select all, copy, and I'm going to paste that on top of the Ken image. First thing we're going to do is resize the image and try and get the head to fit the same size as the other head. So all I'm doing is just using the transform tool and I'm gonna put my face generally about the same sort of size as what Ken's head is. So I'm gonna change the opacity down so I can see Ken's head underneath my head. So let's do transform, um, that's free transform command D and I'm just gonna rotate it so it's there or thereabouts the similar size. It does help if you've got a similar size head or shape and you're actually looking in a similar direction hopefully we'll be able to make this work and it won't look that ridiculous okay so there i've got the ears just about lined up at the same place so we press enter i'm going to put the opacity back up to full the next thing i'm going to do just zoom out a bit and on the layer panel i'm going to click on the layer mask so i'm going to create a mask and this sort of little layer mask thumbnail appears just right of your layer there. So to be able to do mask, we need to use the brush tool. So press B on the keyboard to use brushes. Now, I like to make sure I've got in the sort of um, foreground, background, white and black. So if you press um, D, it'll reset the foreground to white and the background to black. And to alternate, you can press X on the keyboard and it'll keep jumping back and forward. So with the brush uh, selected, I can now bring the background through the foreground because I'm just using the brush to get rid of the front. It's still there, but all I'm doing is just brushing that foreground out. So what I'm trying to do now is get rid as much as I can of the background which is around my head. I mean, you could do this many other ways. You could do select subject, or you could use a magic wand, or you could even use the pen tool, but I'm just doing this using the uh, a really simple layer mask. I'm just brushing it out, brushing it out until I get quite close to my own head and uh, quite close to Ken's head. You may see bits of Ken's head appear, but I'm just getting closer and closer and closer, like that. And you can see, you can see quite a lot of his head there. A lot, quite a lot on my neck there. So I'm going to make the brush smaller by pressing, it's like a bracket. If you use the bracket, it makes it smaller and larger, the brush size. So I'm, all I'm doing is I'm just making it smaller and smaller and smaller and trying to go around my head. And now I look absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to press X and I'm going to start bringing a little bit of my face back now because it's now on white rather than black. As you can see, I need to fine tune around my ears. I bring in a bit of my grey hair. And bring in a bit of my quiff. You can see there's a bit of the background there. Press X. Get rid of that background. I may need to resize this here. Press X again. Bring in a bit more of my ear. More of my face down there. My jawbone. This looks absolutely ridiculous. So I'm just going to resize it. Make it a little bit bigger. A bit further over. So now it's starting to look somewhere close. I need to now fine tune that. I'm just going to zoom right in, get right close to these pixels. Um, press X, and with a really small brush, and do fine tune all the way around my head. Zoom out. I mean, you can still see part of Ken's head there. I mean, you could use the magic wand uh, and you could probably sample a little bit of that out. What I'm going to quickly do is get rid of my head. I'm just going to get rid of his ear. Just click on the background layer, double click, create a new layer. Uh, and then I'm going to use the um, the clone stamp tool. I'm just going to get rid of his ear. So I'm going to press Alt somewhere on the sky and I'm just going to get rid of his ear. Now, if I bring mine back, his ear has disappeared, so that makes it a lot easier. So I just need to fine tune around here again. So using the brush tool, 
Just going to get rid of that bit there. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out and let's see how that looks. I mean, it's ridiculous, but it's kind of acceptable. The next thing we need to do is adjust the tone of the image. So I've just selected the layer thumbnail rather than the um, layer mask. I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments. I'm going to go to Vibrance. I'm going to add a little bit of Vibrance to my face. So I'm bringing it up to Standard, a little bit of Saturation. And then we're also going to go to Adjust um, Hue Saturation. We're just going to change the colour of my face. I'm kind of trying to match Ken's body. So somewhere around about there looks absolutely ridiculous. So that's how to add your head onto somebody else's body using layer masks. Hope you found that entertaining. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, please share it with other people and hit like. I will look forward to seeing you in another one of my videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.